Hey, what's up everybody? So, um, back to finally work on Project 944. Uh, it's been a couple months since I've done anything with it. And uh, so, the fun part now is remembering everything. So, um, last episode I had the uh, got the engine in, started getting everything hooked up. Um, still got quite a few things to hook up. Obviously there's no... Uh, power steering pump, AC pump, belts, uh, radiator, radiator hoses, plug wires, any of that kind of stuff on it yet. Uh, still have not reattached the uh, torque tube and put the transmission back up. So um, this whole engine bay area has uh, frustrated me last time. So I think in order to try to make some progress, I'm going to start with uh, getting the torque tube back in place, get the transmission in place, um, get that all done so that uh, I can get everything hooked up there. So I do have the transmission up underneath. Obviously the torque tube was still underneath as it was. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this stabbed in here today and uh, get this thing rolling. Um, and then hopefully that'll give me a sense of, uh, of progress and I can get back to hooking up all the stuff here in the engine bay. But I'm um, going to start with the uh, uh, torque tube and transmission here. So we'll get started. All right, so one of the things with the transmission is um, decided as long as I've got it out, I might as well put a new transmission mount on. I did do new engine mounts with the engine out. So I did pick up this transmission mount from Lindsay Racing. Um, billet aluminum with some rubber buffers. Um, it is their ultra transmission mount for the 944. Looks like a pretty nice piece. So I'm um, gonna get started with working on that and see if we can get that installed, get ready for, uh, for stabbing the transmission back up. All right, so up underneath the car here, here is the transmission mount on the cross member. And just looking at this, obviously I've got to get to the top side to undo it, which means this cross member needs to come off. Um, so 17 millimeter bolt there, 17 millimeter bolt there and that's all that's holding that cross member on all right so i got the cv axles zip tied up to the control arms now so they're out of the way i also uh had to unbolt the fuel filter uh bracket from the uh frame and it looks like the previous owner didn't have one of the buffers attached so i'll, I'll take care of that once I pull everything off. So um, I did put a uh, piece of tape on the one side so that I can reference it for the uh, the uh, angle on the uh, uh, bracket here. Cause this bracket right here will come off of this mount and uh, actually be transferred over to the new ultra mount. So uh, I'm gonna take the two 17 millimeter bolts off here and uh, we'll get this thing dropped out. And there it is with the cross member out. So now we can start actually replacing the uh, transmission mount. All right, so for pulling the transmission mount out, it's a 13 millimeter, four bolts at the top. the old transmission out doesn't look too terribly bad but you know I've got the ultra mount I've got everything out so I might as well just go ahead and replace it so I do need to pull this bracket off and this bracket will be reused on the new mount 
on the Lindsay Racing site is that the bolts that come with that ultra mount are larger than these holes here for the old mount, so I needed to drill these out to a larger size. So we'll get working on that. So we got the new mount, we got the bracket we took off, and it's uh, come supplied with two new bolts. So there's that. Now we can reattach to our cross member. So the nuts are a 16 millimeter and the bolts on the inside are 17. All right, so there's that. Now we just gotta put it in the car. Crossmember back in, transmission mount back in, Pull my reference tape mark off, got the fuel filter bolted back on properly, and that part is ready to go. So on to the next part. Alright, so I got the torque tube back up in place, got it all bolted in. Uh, it took a little bit of wiggling, um, but didn't have to force it at all. So I uh, got the splines lined up, but of course, uh, you know, with the angle of the transmission and the torque tube and everything, I had to kind of wiggle it. So torque tube runs all the way down. And so what I actually did was I put my foot on the end of the torque tube and then wiggled and used my foot to put pressure into the engine and just wiggle it back and forth. Of course, it's, you know, pretty solid now, but I was able to get a good amount of wiggle to it and that just walked it right in. So. Uh, not too bad once I got that figured out, but that was the trick was to put my foot at the end of the torque tube and use that to push in towards the engine while I wiggled uh, the engine up and down uh, to get everything to, to line up and seat in. So torque tube is in. Um, I now need to get the shift rod back in through the hole, up through the tunnel and up into the cab area. Um, and then I can start working on putting the transmission back up in place and uh, Hopefully that will go relatively smooth So here we go. So I got the transmission back in Everything back here is all hooked back up torque tube Got the coupler going from the transaxle to the torque tube shaft um, I think I got pretty much everything all buttoned up there got the uh, shift linkage up uh, still got to do the exhaust, um, but I think I'm going to get the starter and the uh, clutch master cylinder, all that kind of fun stuff uh, put on first. And uh, we're definitely making some progress here. Yeah. 